But in our high-tech labs, we sometimes still see the existence of printed manuals or static documents. So how do we engage students even more by delivering online interactive content straight to the student's device? And at the same time, allow lab instructors get insights into how well students are doing. Well, we found a solution with a partner, Enable Education, who's the first NI Alliance partner to be certified with our academic specialty area. So here to show us more, please welcome Ben Zimmer. How you doing, Ben? Great. Thanks for the warm welcome, Ray. I really appreciate it. We all know that Elvis, Multisim, and the rest of the NI Academic Platform is very relevant to industry. And it's my pleasure to be up here at the NI Week stage to announce some brand new curriculum. So this curriculum is developed in partnership between National Instruments, Enable Education, and Universidad Tecnológica de Mexico. What you and I are going to walk through together up here, Ray, is interactive, online, mobile friendly, and does a fantastic job of supporting the student and the instructor through the learning process. We focused really hard on creating some material that not only has fantastic content, but is delivered in a very exciting way. So first of all, we got to talk about the content. As you see here, the core concepts we covered were carefully selected to make sure we hit the key points of electronics and circuits education. And the second critical aspect, it's delivered within our internal platform called the Lab MS. We worked really hard to create some material, an entire curriculum that reinforces the critical concepts of this curriculum while providing great support for the student. Wait a minute, Ben. So our audience have been teaching these concepts for years now with their favorite textbooks. What are, you, what are you trying to say? Well, so it's important to realize that I said reinforces, not teaches. It's not our goal, or frankly, our place to teach the theory. This curriculum is all about labs, and it's all leveraging the power of the NI platform. Right. As I mentioned, we worked really hard to create some material that really effectively combines the real-world measurements with the simulated results you get from Multisim to really help guide the student. And as I mentioned, it's delivered online through our Lab MS. Should we try it out? Yeah, you want to be lab partners? Let's do it. All right, let's try this. So I think maybe typical lab experience, Ray. Um, why don't I, um, I guide you through it, and you do all the work? I'm used to that. OK. So we're going to start here, and we see in the Lab MS on my screen here, we see a circuit. Okay? So we've got a leg up here for two reasons. And as I'll show you in the Lab MS, you know, I'm going to guess maybe it's been a little while since you built the circuit. About 20 years. Yeah, a little, a little while. Okay? So we've got a leg up because actually right inside the platform are just-in-time help videos that can guide the student when they need a little bit of a push to be successful in building, or or building up the circuit or doing whatever programming they need to do. And the other leg up we have here is I see one of your application engineers has already gone and built it for us. So I'm going to move on to the next step. Let's actually start the function generator. Are you All OK right. with that? I think I can handle that one. All right. Uh, so I'm seeing on my screen we're being guided to set a frequency of 60 hertz. OK. An amplitude of 10 volts peak to peak. And you want to fire that guy up? All right, All right there we great. Go. So we'll move on to the next step in the curriculum. So now start the oscilloscope, please. OK. All right, so when this guy fires up, we want to set our source channels, AI0, AI1, enable that guy. Awesome. Run it. All right, there so, we go. So we see we're off to the races here. Now, what's really important about this experience for the student as they're running through this with the Lab MS, we have interspersed what we call inline assessment throughout the curriculum. So you see there's questions being answered. There's an opportunity for the student to reflect. So we're not only guiding the student through them with the help they need, but we're effectively assessing and supporting them as they go. And if I keep going after I submit the answers to these questions, we see there's actually a notes field. So whenever the student is going through this process, they can take a picture, they can take a video, they can make a text observation of their journey as they're going through it. In fact, if you see here, this is a video I took of the circuit working the other day. 
Oh, cool. So this means the lab instructor can see what we're doing and that I'm doing all the work and you're not doing anything? Well, yeah, listen, there isn't always going to be an audience of 500 watching our students as they're going through it. So it's really important that the platform not only support the student, but provide the necessary feedback to the instructor that the student's doing the right thing. Um, ultimately, when the student generates an electronic lab report with this platform, the teacher can not only see the results, but even see how much time they spent on each step. Okay, great. Well, so what if, uh, what if I wanted to do something a little different or custom? Yeah, well, thanks, Ray. I mean, we thought of that. Um, and it's frankly our job as an Education Alliance partner to enable that, pun intended. We're really happy to help deploy with any institution this platform with their content, help them interweave these two fantastic courses. And also, we know that the NI Academic Platform is being used around the world in a multitude of languages. We're working on translations now, and we're really happy, so please come up to talk to us and me and my team in the Academic Forum Exhibition Hall to discuss your specific needs. That's very exciting, Ben. Great. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Ray. Appreciate it. So you see, we're taking advantage of the internet, and we're streaming interactive content right from the cloud straight to the student's device. In essence, we have an internet of lab workstations.